what is going on guys unite the clans here back in your life it has been a little while but we're back on the two crafty server and i just uh, set this up just a really simple wood pillar i threw some ladders on there and i wanted us to be able to take a look around the spot that we decided uh last episode to call home so this is an awesome little lagoon the river runs back into there I just like the way it looks, and by the way, nobody was upset that I've switched to shaders for this series, and I'm cool with it. I really like the way they look. This is Silder Shaders. This server still running in 1.9.2. I think we're going to be in 1.10.2 by the time I get another episode out for you guys. But take a look at this spot, and tell me you don't get inspired to build here. So the idea that I've kind of settled on is to do a pirate-themed settlement here. Uh, to build a village uh, out of this little lagoon and it's a small enough area that I feel like I can sink my teeth into over the next 10 or so episodes maybe get this place looking good so I put some thought into it and what does a pirate village need first of all ships we're gonna have to build some big ones out at sea here but in this inner cove, I don't think you'd have a big ship. I think you'd have smaller ones, rowboats and canoes and things like that, where people have set set anchor and uh, sailed in or uh, paddled in. And so I think this big chunk of land here, I think this will be the home to most of the houses. And I think maybe in this central part where we've gone ahead and lined up our portal, I'll have a bigger build. Uh, but my general idea is to have docks running all along the edge of the water and just set back from them a row of houses. And then, just above that row of houses, another boardwalk with houses set behind it, and that would run at maybe this level, and then same thing up near the top. Another boardwalk set back from that second row of houses with a third row behind it. So that's my rough idea. And then I'm thinking we would need a lighthouse. This big, big, tall building might be a good spot for something like that. Uh, and I'd like to have a big sort of master build here. Now, being that this is a pirate cove, I think the perfect place for that would be a big multi-story tavern. Uh, but that's one to set for a future episode, and then I'm thinking we might carve a giant skull into this one. It seems like it's just begging for it. So, I think the time has come to get to work, guys. Oh, smooth, UTC, as usual. Um... Oh god, I'm such a dolt. Uh, so, my my uh, my plan for today is to just peel back an outer layer of sand uh, from around here, and we can start working on a dock. Uh, not a dock, sort of a, a boardwalk, I think is probably a better term. Uh, down from it, we can have actual docks. Uh, but we're going to have to play around with some ideas. I've gathered lots of wood and resources. I'm not going to mess around too much with this chunk of the island, but I am going to strip back... Uh, some of the sand and I went and got ahead a decent shovel we're gonna have to do some enchanting and get a diamond one with some uh, efficiency on it uh, and maybe same thing with an axe if we're gonna be doing a lot of wood building around here I've just been using iron because we abandoned the spot where I set up uh, the skelly spawner and the uh, what else did we set up there um, farms and we had a strip mine so while I'm out here uh, I'm just going to slaughter some of the creatures that have chosen to call this area home. But I wanted to, like I said, start stripping back. So I think my rough plan is to do the actual boardwalks in uh, uh, birchwood. So let's get a bunch more of that going. Whoops. And um, I want to get started working out some ideas. Now, I think we're also going to use some oak. So let's go ahead and turn that all into logs and get that on the bar. And I think that uh, dark oak will be a part of this too because we have a decent supply of it around here. Uh, so my, my rough plan is to do something like this that curves around the shore. Um, and you know what? Maybe we can set our first layer of houses a bit back from this. Um, I think that might be a wise idea. Uh, so if we look at something like this as a little pier where you could pull boats up against. Uh, and then from there, we are going to want... Uh, I'm sort of building on the fly, guys, so bear with me. I think you're going to want to make it look like a bit of a dock. So something like that. And we'll do those every three or four. Uh, let's see if I can get myself under there. I think this is the right spot. We'll find out in a second. Yes, it is. All right, put one more there. Hop up. 
And for now, you know what? Let's keep it down at that level. I don't want to get too carried away. So if you have a peer, for example, I'd obviously do the same thing on the other side running there. Then at some point around here, you're going to want stairs, and those will lead up to another level. So let's plan on stairs there, stairs here, stairs here, and then maybe this can be the level of our first uh, boardwalk. So that would mean cutting back a lot more of this ground. Um, and the ideal thing for me would be to mix some oak in with the birch, uh, like just, just for a little variety so that uh, it doesn't all look the same. And I think these two woods blend fairly well together. Can I grab that piece? No, I can't. So you get, you know, bits and pieces that look like this. Uh, so you have a little bit of variety to the thing and throw, actually, I think we can strip this all back one because uh, that will give us more opportunity to uh, build up into this dock because if the stairs come up here, yeah, okay. So let's dig a little more out of here. I don't want to go crazy far back because we're still going to be relying on this ladder to get up and down. Um, but I would like to get into some real Minecraft building. It's been a while since we've done it, the beginning of this series. I think we've had one build, but there's been episodes of getting set up and meeting people, episodes of exploration, looking for a place to call our own, uh, obviously working on nether portals and connections to the big nether hub that uh, Bonnie from Bonnie's Workshop is working on. And... Um, we uh oh i'm wondering if i'm gonna want to move the stairs back yeah let's let's have a look at that because i don't want to be digging deeply into the side of this mountain just for the boardwalk our houses alone are gonna have to dig into the mountain uh so let's see if i can't try expanding this we'll sprinkle some dark oak in, or some oak in there as well uh, and i think our oak might go fast with the way that i've been building lately uh i think uh, I like I like mixing in these textures to try and get some variety, uh, but I've gathered lots. I think enough that we could really get a good start on this episode. So imagine it comes out like that. I think that's a little closer to what we'd be looking for. Uh, let's go ahead and put some oak there. Give me that. Perfect. And you'd have something like that. And then coming up from here is where you would begin to have houses. Now I'm thinking fairly low profile for houses, nothing too crazy uh, on this first level because I'm thinking that if you had poorer people, that this is where they might uh, reside. So I'm gonna peel back some of this uh, and I think that's gonna be a pain in the butt because of all the sand that's sitting above us and there's gravel here too, it looks like. Uh, but I'm thinking if you could do something like this as the beginning of a house uh, so that you have uh, it lightly framed in uh, and I think I'll keep this first level fairly small and on top of up there is where we are going to get started You know what? I think I'm, I don't like that. I like it set back ever so slightly um, So that would be the beginning of your house and then I think we'd just tunnel out uh, To build the first few houses now my my thought with these is that you're gonna mostly have them as a facade at least in the beginning so that you say uh, do a why don't we do for the builds, why don't we do a bit more of a mix of the oak and have the birch be the, the highlight. So you'd have something that looks like that. You can put a door in there. I don't think I have any on me. But um, we'll slowly progress this. And I think uh, this is a, actually a terrible spot to start. It is, because this is where I talked about doing a big building. Um, so I'm, I don't know, I may need to mess around with this a little to get a feel, because if I have a big building there, then the dock's gonna come that way, it's gonna come this way. All right, well, let's go off to the side here and work on some of this dock. How much, uh, let's go ahead and turn all this birch into logs. It's probably overkill and it's nighttime already. So let's hit the hay uh, and we'll see about getting a good start on this. I think if I were to if I were to be able to get started with some docks and not docks, boardwalks and piers that come off them, I think that will probably be a good start for us. So if we're going to call it night, let's make sure that we are well fed. I'll grab some of this as well. Because we will need that if we're going to be building tomorrow. And that should help heal us up and we'll call it night. Um, it's fun playing Minecraft, guys. I think I was talking in a recent video about how I don't see Minecraft necessarily as the way that I will grow this channel to become my job, which is my goal. Uh, although I'm taking my time with it and I don't have any real expectations of this thing blowing up anytime soon. But uh, I think 
what we're gonna want to yes okay so let's uh let's set if we're gonna be at this height yeah okay so let's work on a, a boardwalk that wraps around here at roughly this height and I want to leave room so that it comes just to the edge of the water there but with a little space underneath and I think we might fill that with greenery or something like that I'm getting some weird lighting from that I think it's supposed to look that way but it is weirding me out uh, yeah this is a game that uh, made me want to be a youtuber minecraft is the game that made me start my channel it was my first video it's how i watched all my favorite youtubers grow their channels until they were large enough to support them but i don't know if it's still particularly uh I i'm sure it's possible but i don't know if it's the path uh, for me that makes the most sense to build this thing up uh, I think uh, I've been playing Ark a lot since it came out, and I took a long break from it, but since I've been back, I've honestly really, really been enjoying it, and I'm wondering if that might be the path these days to grow in a big channel, at least for somebody like me who likes to Let's Play things. Uh, there are plenty of ways you can run a YouTube channel. Uh, there are plenty of styles. You can do tutorials, reviews. There are a thousand little things you can do to build up a channel, but uh, I have sort of had my best success with that game with Ark, and uh, I think uh, I'm planning on keeping it up, and uh, it's it's a really fun one to play, but um, I have only just joined this crew on the Too Crafty server, and I don't have any plans to go anywhere in the very immediate future. Uh, I think, like I said last episode, we'll keep these to once every week, once every eight, nine days, depending on what other Minecraft is being played on the channel. But um, I, I don't know if I could ever stop playing this game. I have too much fun with it, and I know there are a lot of you guys out there that love it. Uh, and we've got right now uh, a contest going on. I, it hasn't been dramatically successful, but it's a, a Play With Unite the Clans contest where any of my subscribers and Twitter followers can uh, enter a little gleam.io competition and i've used those before for game key giveaways but i've never used them for something where i'm the giveaway where i'm the product and uh, a few people have already signed up for this little thing i think it runs another couple of days after i get this episode out another day or two uh, and you just have to go check my 500 subscriber special and if you were able to go have a look at that 500 subscriber special uh, which we hit recently. Thank you, by the way, to anybody who subscribed because of Too Crafty and because of the Minecraft. Um, I, Like I said, I love this game still, and I have no plans on stopping playing it. Do we have an iron pick? We got diamond. Uh, let's just finish up this stone one. And uh, I, uh, I, it's, it's fun to celebrate milestones, but for me, for a guy that's hoping to grow this thing big enough to be my bread and butter, to put food on my plate... Uh, 500 is just a start, and I have a really long way to go. So as much as I want to stay true to my original subscribers, I really need to find the path that gets me to be able to be a full-time YouTuber the fastest and easiest. Because once that happens, once you're at a point where you can uh, do this, I, honestly, I don't know if I, it's ever going to happen, but it's a dream worth chasing for me, having a job that you love and where no one tells you what to do or when to do it. It just feels worthwhile, even if it takes 10 years of slowly building up from 500 to 50,000 or whatever the number is that will allow me to pay my bills. Oh, that's a crazy... I blocked that off for a reason. Okay. We got to fight on our hands. Get wrecked, fool. Get wrecked, fool. Get wrecked, fool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lots of idiots coming down here. Get smashed. If there's a skelly spawner here... How are you not dead? All right, perfect. Oh, that was dangerous. Let's eat some meat. I don't think there's going to be another skelly spawner here. We've already done that once. Oh, okay. Hi, pal. Okay, one should do it. One more. One more. There you go. I got to get a better sword. I got to get a way to fight these creeps. Uh, so we got a little cave back in here, and it's actually kind of a long, deep cave. I wonder where this leads. Okay, let's uh, seal this off for the time being. I don't want to use all my torches on this little project, uh, but uh, at least we got a cave we can explore, because I went going a long way looking for uh, some... Looking for... <laughs> uh, let's, let's build our first house here and have the cave uh, be the... Uh, be inside it um, but uh, I spent a long time running around looking for some iron so that I had a proper shovel to do this episode with 
let's just layer in a few random ones here and get ourselves so that I can speed build the rest of this dock um, boardwalk. I'm going to continually interchange those terms until I figure out what I'm going to call everything here. And we do need a name for this. The Thieves Lagoon, uh, Buccaneers Cove, Privateer Bay, something like that. I got a few bouncing around in my head, but I'm not sure what we're eventually going to start calling this thing. So, oh, and I am plowing through stack after stack of birch, eh? Okay, so if the dock comes out roughly this far, uh, then you could have those dark oak supports. And we can back actually back up now that we've got a little section of it and get a good idea of how this might look. Um, now, would you bring that up higher? What if you did that and that? Because we are playing with shaders, you do want this thing to look as good as it can look at the night. But whatever I do, I'm going to have to be consistent. These sort of uh, supports, these pillars, are going to have to be roughly the same distance apart uh, for this thing to look good. Let's head out here, and we'll, we'll have a peek at it. I don't know why I started dead center after announcing that, yeah, that could work. Um, now, the key to making this look good is it doesn't look good as it as, right there. Uh, so I think what you might want instead of, hmm, because my thought was to have it up at this level so that right at ground level, you could have piers uh, and docks coming out. So something that would look like, uh, let me see, it's a little harder building over top of the water, but uh, something that might extend out on an angle, on random angles, into the middle of the bay for people to moor their rafts to. Uh, so that's I, when I get into these builds, I like to get into what the people might be like, what, how you would actually, if you were a group of pirates, how you would come together and visit a town. And I think that would happen by paddling in by raft. That seems to me that that would be a logical way to do it. So what if you had a dock out here, you did the same thing where you interspersed uh, some of the regular old oak throughout it, but uh, you... Here, let's finish it off there. And then you do the, the dark oak pillars, but maybe they only come up to here. Um, so you'd need stairs that bring you up here. So what do you do with the other under the dock space? That's the question. I, I think either you fill it in with sand or you put some greenery down where you have, say, shrubs and bushes. I think that might be the way to do it. So you have shrubs and bushes growing like crazy down here. Let's go see if we have some leaves. And uh, I'll, I'll quick, take a quick peek at this. And I think I've forgotten to give you guys time to take an episode break. So if I haven't already, let's take a break in the middle of this one, and I will come back to you. Ooh, all right. From up here, I'm liking the way that looks. And you're going to be getting sort of a vertical view of it from a lot of the spots that we build on this island. So I think that's a good start. This dock would obviously need some work. It would need supporting... Uh, beams and to mix a little oak in to have some variety of textures but what i think is that we're going to want this to look a bit like an overgrown jungle uh, and so that'll involve the use of some vines and it'll involve a lot of greenery so you have you know big sort of willow looking trees draping over uh, the the docks, boardwalks, houses, and the eventual bar that we're going to build. But I wonder if you filled the area under the dock with greenery, if that would give it more of a, a, a dense, jungly look. And I think it does. I honestly do. We obviously mix up the leaves with various different uh, types of leaves. We, I think these are all birch leaves, but you get some oak, you get some dark oak, and you have some real variety. Uh, but let's, let's slam dunk a little of this in here. And I don't know if we're actually going to get to a house now in this video, but uh, we can maybe make the facade of one. And But that, that might be the kind of thing where we want to play around with some ideas for a little while uh, to get a, a clue of what's going to look good. Okay, so let's back up and take a, a peek at that. It is sunset. Yeah, I think that could work. And if you combine it with vines draping off the houses above, um, I think that could could be cool. So the houses that I have in mind, I'm thinking we'll keep it really simple. And you have uh, pillars like these dark oak ones, and these will frame in your house. And in between, you do something like this. 
And then one more layer above it is where you would do, that's oak. So you're going to want a mix of, what did I say, mostly oak, uh, if we can make it happen up here. And a little bit of the birch, we'll throw birch there. And so that the roofs would come up ever so slightly above. And then what you can do is add in greenery around here. And dang, it's getting dark fast. Okay, let's torch it up. And... Uh, let's try and close this in and get a, a peek at it. Uh, I, like I said, I want to keep the houses simple because what we want to do is find a quick and fairly easy way to turn this into what looks like a village. I don't want to be spending time, you know, grinding away, making house after house after house when uh, we can find a quick and easy way to do it. So let's back up. Oh, that's a bad angle to take. Uh, obviously, we got to do something with the front of it. But from this side, it looks okay. And then above there, you could start your catwalk or your next layer of boardwalks. So this could begin to form the next layer of boardwalks. Uh, I guess we're missing a block there. And we need to fill in the front of it and the side of it over here too. So might as well get started on that. Uh, so let's just keep it really simple for now. I'll leave a space for a little door there. Uh, Oh, I guess I've put, been using a little too much of the birch, but that's okay. We'll make it look good. Uh, do this, do this, do this. Yeah, and I think there's there are techniques in Minecraft that let you sort of spam a little more uh, to get what is going to look like a cool-looking village. Um, just so that you don't have to build house after house after house. So here's a way to do it. Let's try doing what if i did something like take you out and you did something like that but with some greenery on top i don't know i'm the world is so filled with built brilliant minecraft builders it's hard to even want to be want to put yourself on that level uh and try and compete with those brilliant builders out there okay try that Okay, so you'd have a really, really simple house on the first level. These would have a low ceiling, and on top of them, you would extend a boardwalk. So maybe instead of having the oak set back up there and the, the birch, maybe you extend it a little more so that, uh, here, let's break. We got birch or oak in our hands right now. Let's get some birch. So maybe you extend it even more so that it comes out over top of here instead of Maybe something like that. We'll see. We'll take a look at how this looks. And uh, like I said, we are going to have to come to an end real soon. So let me get these pieces done. And we'll replace what's in here because this would be the beginning of the next row of houses somewhere up here. I don't know. It's, uh, it's the kind of thing that I probably should have built first in creative to get a good clue of how this is going to work. But uh, put one there. And then we'll bang you out there and put a torch on it so you would then have another boardwalk and you'd have another taller layer of houses in the second row with a boardwalk still on top of it i think that could work uh right now it's just a random conglomeration of uh lots of bits of wood but over the next few episodes i think this is what we're going to do work on this is where we're going to get ourselves started i'll have to head into the swamp to gather some vines it's a bit daunting, guys, because I know I'm not going to be on here three, four, five days a week. It's going to be once every week or so, and uh, that means that progress will be slower. It's like uh, when you get that building itch, I just know I, I, uh, I'm going to have a certain number of ARC videos every week, and at some point in the very near future, we're going to introduce some other games to the channel, but that is the beginning of what we're looking at. I feel like I could have put more torches, but you're going to have docks and piers extending out into the middle of the harbor that lead up onto a boardwalk. Underneath that boardwalk will be some greenery, draping over it will be some vines and maybe hanging lanterns, and then in between, uh, or sort of built off that first boardwalk, will be a row of houses that encircle this place as the boardwalk wraps around. And then you will have a, another boardwalk on top of that. We'll build a second row of houses, and then maybe somewhere up on this level we'll build, we will build our final boardwalk and have the last row of houses 
that go even over top of what will be a big build right here, sort of a giant bar or tavern. Maybe we'll frame that out next episode. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This is the beginning of our, our first building community, our first sort of uh, series of builds where we role play them and like to start to think about the people that live here, how they would build, what kind of things they would need, where they would get their food how they would sleep, all that sort of stuff, and how they would travel, and where they would find their merriment, where they would take time to uh, to hang with each other and just relax. So with that done, guys, I think I'm gonna call this on episode, what would this be, episode five on the Two Crafty server. Uh, as always, I'm Unite the Clans. If you like this video, don't forget to go ahead and give it a like. And if you're new to the channel and you like this, uh, pay, just be aware, I'll, I'll be uh, on this server about once a week, and uh, I also play a lot of, oh, get these freaks off me. I also play a lot of Ark Survival Evolve. What is going on? I'm gonna die. Get inside. Close the door. Okay, just kill this little freak. Jeez. A heart and a half. Cool. Alright, I'm in my little hidey hole. We're gonna call this an episode, guys. If you're brand new, how are you hitting me? Alright, I don't wanna die in here. Guys, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. And if you're new and you like this and you like ARC, go ahead and subscribe. Because those are the two things I'm doing the most of. But that's going to be it for this episode. I will see you all in the next episode. Little freaks. I'm going to wreck your face in the morning. <laughs>